Hi everyone, right, uh, just a quick video, um, I am going to be doing a project but just right now and I hope that's clear, Ooh, that's clear, I can't tell, it looks blurred no I think, I don't know, is it blurred? well we're going to try it, anyway, right, the canvas, uh, A4 canvas came in for the pictures and I was really disappointed with one lot, but extremely pleased with the other because, like I said to you, we run out of canvas, so we had to wait. And we, you know, it can take up to two weeks for it to come in. Now, this was the vintage style canvas that we got. This is our own picture. We have copyright to this one and the style of it. Although you get it in many different ways with different bows and things, we had this one made up for us. Um, and the quality, although the quality of the print is good it's got like a, a darker vintage look to it because of the cream canvas we used but then we found this one which has a high gloss to it and it's really durable and the picture is actually better oops sorry can you see a lot better a lot sharper so um these of course can be used um but we're not going to be using those for the shop at the moment we're going to use these up and I'm going to send off for more of this paper, uh, the paper, it's a canvas paper because it's absolutely brilliant and the sharpness on the pictures is fabulous. Right, I'm just going to see if I can get my uh, board in place. Yeah, so now we've got it in, I've printed them off and I will be sending them off. Now I don't cut all the way around them, I'll leave that because you might want to leave a thicker border in. We can't because they're done joint together. We do have to cut it down the middle but um, that's how it comes to you and we do that in the larger size and it's absolutely stunning so um, like I say we've cut those ready now Now I have been asked, I, I mean there's strange requests all the time but I was asked if I could um, print some of my the things I've made, they wanted them in pictures to use in, on a canvas in a project. And one of the things that was asked for was the bally shoe. So we've done that. Do you remember the bally shoes I did on the stand? So we've printed those off on the nicer paper. And you can have them either way. It doesn't matter. Um, I also got asked for the doll. Remember the rag doll, Pippa? And um, somebody wanted it for the little girl's project and she was going to put that on her dolls, on her daughter's um, fabric book. So she's going to pad it out slightly, she said. So that's fine, I've done that for her. And then somebody asked for the ballet shoes, the original ballet shoes that we did, that we have as our logo, or part of our uh, original logo. And um, so I printed that and then somebody asked me, well... I've seen a picture that you've got of uh, Moulin Rouge, um, can, can I have a picture of that? And I went, well, you can have a picture of whatever you want. So the painting I did, do you remember the painting? And then we used actual beading, we, I did, of the Moulin Rouge. And these were all done out of chipboard from the die cut. And then I hand painted each and every one and added lace to them. So that's somebody asked for it and if you want a picture of something you've seen that I've made to go on your project, send me a request, I will print it off and by all means you can get it. And then that was the other Moulin Rouge, so the lady wanted both. So they're there ready for you to, uh, I'll send them off to you and all you have to do is that's the actual picture, so you just cut round that bit and that's the bit she needs for her, her project. So we're more than accommodating, but... For now, I've got this picture. Now, my hands are a little bit bad. That's why I haven't done a tutorial. So I have got my clippers with me if they get too painful. But right now, I'm just going to trim this off because I am going to uh, start a project. Now, it may be done in two parts depending on how my hands are because right now they are pretty swollen and painful. And unfortunately, it does stop me from crafting for a little while till I get uh, used to it. So I've got, I've chosen this particular picture because I don't want to keep using ours, but uh, I do like to use different pictures and I love the colours. And I fished out some uh, pink leaf trim, some pink ribbon. Not sure what I'm going to do. I've got this, that wool that's in. 
which is gorgeous. It's like a cord, a woolen cord. It's beautiful. Um, and I've got a little tray here with various bits and pieces. Now, what I've found is these, and I forgot I had them, to be honest. So I'm just going to clip this off because I don't actually need this. See if I can unclip it. Oh, the wires they use are quite... There we go, I've got that off. Now I'll take that out and we don't know whether we need that. Um, and it's got um, this on, but I don't want that. So, well, I don't actually want that one as long as that. So I'm just going to do myself a little canvas picture. Oh, my hands are really bad. I can't have no grip whatsoever. Oops, a daisy. It's so painful sometimes. And yes, people have written in and said, I've tried this, that and the other, which I'm very grateful for all your hints and tips. But I've tried all sorts. I just have to put up with it, I'm afraid. Right, just let me get this apart. I'm going to get... Oops, that dug in me. There. I'm just going to take that one off. And maybe take that off there. I may put that back on. I'm not sure. So I'm going to leave that. But I do like the frame. I think I'll have it that way. And I think... It's going to be the wrong picture. You don't see the hat, do you? Hmm. Oh, I don't know whether I want that picture now. <laughs> Let me just say about the other pictures. They've got to be the right size and the style. See, they're too big. That's nicer. No. I may not use that frame. <laughs> um... Like I say, we did have uh, several of the prints. Now, now I'm going to use that picture. I might not use that frame now. Because I love the picture. Put the frame away, feet. I do want a vintage spoon. And like I say, I've got all the other bits and pieces here. I've got a little, uh, some tassely bits if I need them. We'll see. We'll see where we get and how we get on. So what I'm going to do is get some canvas which I have right here. I'm going to cut myself a piece of canvas. I must get myself some more. I run out pretty fast of canvas. I've got some wadding. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> Not sure. Let's get this in position. So, I'm just going to take the canvas and I'm going to mark it out. Now, because I'm going to put a little bit of wadding in it, I'm going to need to leave a little bit of extra space around the edge. So I'm just going to mark this out. Or about an inch. Doesn't have to be perfect, of course. And thanks to everybody who asked how I was, because uh, I had been suffering again. Oh, oh these blooming colds. Don't they drive you insane? Hope that's nice and clear. So I'll just take that off for a minute. And trim this. Remove that bit out of the way. Move bits. Okay, dokie. So what am I going to do, did you say? <laughs> don't ask, don't know, never do. I don't want it too padded. Um 
I'm just going to do that. And I haven't got a piece quite wide enough and I didn't want to cut into the bit that I've got. So that will do. Yeah, that will do in there. That's fine. And uh, I don't really need to pencil that on, to be honest, because I'm going to be gluing it on so I can uh, sort that out from there. But like I say, we don't waste anything if we can help it. Bigger bits go in one pot and the other one goes in the bin. Because you never know when you need a little bit, I'm afraid. So that will fit that. Have I just thrown the wrong bit away? Of course I have. No, I'll put it to one side. <laughs> That's going to go on there. That's going to be fine. That, and I'm not bothered about the hole in the middle. In fact, I'm just going to pop a bit of that on. So, let me just see. Get my glue gun ready. Not quite, but that will do. Okay. Right. So I've just glued that bit on. Just I'm, It's just to make so the material doesn't go through the middle. So now what I'm going to do is just to cover that. Oh, it'd be better be gluing, wouldn't it? So we just cover that like that edge that in there that's fine and then what you do is you just trim all that off all the way around See how it's filled that in. And then that goes on top of there. And all we do with this section uh, is uh, cover it at the back afterwards. And that's put that little, little bit of cushion on where I want it. But, um, but then we've got to like... I'm just going to glue that section on actually. That's it. We just need to glue that in the middle. That will hold. And then just snip around the edge. We're going to cover the edge, so I'm not worried about it at all. But when you're doing a circle, it, when you're doing a square, it's easier to do the lines, uh, you know, the edges. But doing a circle is a little bit more difficult. So you just snick it. There we go. And then what we do is we just glue that in. So I hope you can see this. Pull it in, pull it tight. Now I'm going to do the opposite one. Pull that in tight. Again, let's do these. And then what we can do, you can overlap properly. Because it is, you know, it does have a little bit of give, does canvas. Right, right, we just pull that in. And we're going to do this one next. I'm just going to trim off those bulky bits. Fluffy bits, whatever you want to call them. So 
pull it in and push and it just gives a nice neat edge now we've more than one on this side but that's fine we'll do the odd one there to start with and then we'll put that one on and overlap it see that brings a nice neat edge Thank you to everybody who wish my daughter a happy 35th 35th birthday <laughs> she didn't make me laugh because when she rang or text me a message to say oh can, can you believe she says i'm going to be 35 next well she did that on the 16th of september but she was at six o'clock time uh, us time and i was uk time which was half two in the morning and i was actually up <laughs> It just made me laugh the way she did it. And um, I just said, well, you already are. <laughs> She's silly bugger. Well, she leaves the US on the 25th. And she's... Before she goes to Australia, she's going to... Um, me cannot think. <laughs> it's gone out of my head. Can't think. Oh, never mind. She does tell me more than once, and I, I just can't remember. But she's off to see a friend of hers somewhere else before she does anything else. Now, the problem I've got with this is it's curved that way. But I'm not bothered. Because when I put that and pin that onto a flat board, that will lay flat. So I need a nice big piece of chipboard when I do that. But for now, look, perfect. How neat is that? Now, uh, I'm going to start with my picture, which I want bang in the middle. Yeah. I'm only doing the corners for now. Like that. I may want to put something underneath. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to layer it, I think. And I've got some of these leaves I think we can use. Do I want to use them? Maybe. Maybe not. Not sure. Yeah, and I'm not going to put them on yet because I want to layer it. So I'm going to use some of my trimmings that uh, I have and doily bits. Let me see. There are lots of little bits and pieces that I can use. Just need to find the right one. Oh, I found some of those as well. That'll do. I want some of them. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use a bit of that. Sorry if the picture's got off the screen. But uh, when you find bits to use, use it. Let's just have a look at this. Hmm. Yes, I've perfect trimming. Oh, and I love that as well. Yay! I found it. I found it. Got that as well. Now you know, like I say, use up all your doily bits. Use them up. <laughs> so let me just see. Wow. I might want to use that on the outside edge. But at the moment, I'm going to use this one. So I'm just going to cut it to the corners, so that's one, take the corner out and then cut that to the corner, take that corner out, cut that to the corner and take that corner out and same with that side as well. Now I'm going to see if I can sit down and hopefully as long as I keep it in this 
position <laughs> you can see what I'm doing so let me just make sure yeah you can see that there so what I'm going to do is attach um, some of these bits now I do have to trim it down I'm afraid I don't want them skanky bits hanging off whatever you call them okay now I'm just gonna go around the edge I'm gonna start here and pinch that in so we're just going around the edge make sure my glue gun is uh, on properly <clears throat> it doesn't matter if I don't reach the total opposite side you know all the way around it doesn't with this because I can use more than one to do this project with so just let me make sure I have to keep making sure you can see just keep that going like that keep pinching it in so you're making your own frill around just turn it around if it's easier for you to manage And because I've had to join it, you know, because uh, there were corners on it, I didn't want the corners. It would have made it look odd and I'm a bit iffy about um, symmetrical things. <laughs> it's got to look symmetrical. Sort of, kind of, sometimes. <laughs> just me, just me, just me. I'm just going to slightly overlap that. And it was just a doily mat that I took the middle out of uh, to use somewhere else. <sighs> Don't they look pretty? I think they do anyway. Just look, oh, one little bit. And what I can do is because I've got the corner, I'm not, sh I don't think it'll matter at all, is to slip that corner bit in. I don't think it'll matter. So if we just pop that on and pin that, yeah, that'll be fine. I'm going to put flowers and that on it so it's not going to be in the way uh, you're not going to see just pin all that down Isn't that pretty <clears throat> so that's that I'm going to take the corners away now um, and I have this one Oh, this one I might use no I'm gonna use this one I think again this has got corners on it but you can't really tell and I'm not sure if I actually want all of that anyway let me just get that to there I'm gonna do one that section take this one off and do one this section 
at the bottom and again I just have to take off um, those little bits you don't have to I want to I know I said I'd uh, come back and do some tutorials, but you know, um, they have been painful, so it's not advisable to do it, to be honest, straight, you know, straight away. I'm just going to go in front of that, actually. So I'm going to take that from there and then pinch that up into that section. Again, just keep going around the outside as far as you want it to go. Like that. Now I'm quite happy with that being like that on that side. Quite happy. I'm going to do the opposite here as well. Uh, we'll start on there, I think. It's just a little pinch. I'm not bothered if it meets there, if it doesn't meet there, should I say, not meets. I like that. Now, I've got some of these. And the little leaves, like I say, they're taken from other doilies. So I can just add those here. So you can't see that there hasn't been a gap there. And we're just going to build that up like that. I'm going to do some around here as well. do it like that and then we can pop one in there like that now I do want to hang three of these sorry I hope you're seeing this I oh I hope you're seeing it I do want to hang three of these so what I'm going to do now I've done I've shown you how to do this before. I'm going to take my little mat and just drop some glue on it. And then what you do is I'm going to put them like that. And just let that set together. And that gives me the size tassel that I want. See like that. Hope you can see that. Just let that settle a minute. Um, I do have one of these. And I might just... No, that might be too much actually. I've got a collection of flowers. I'm just going to get some flowers while we let that dry. I've got them here. <laughs> Oh, I've got some lovely, lovely pink and cream. Oh, yeah, that's gorgeous. So, oh, by the way, I just wanted to share with you the new flowers that are in, which uh, they're in the store now. And please, please, please go and grab them. We do have them in, in five colours. They're gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So go grab them. Is that settled? Is that done? Near enough. It's done enough for me. Put my glue gun back on it. I'm just going to snip off the loops because I don't need them on. Take this back 
Let me get this right where you can see. It just glues them together, but it makes it a good um, tassel for me. And I'm just going to pin those to one side there. Just want that tassel there. And uh, I do have some of these gorgeous uh, fabric flowers. They're, they're just... Well, I mean, where? I bought them in town, in the market, and it was just a, like a bush. And I thought, oh, the flowers are gorgeous on that. I'll just have those to use in my projects. So I didn't buy it to use anywhere, but apart from in my projects. And I absolutely loved them. They're quite shabby, chicish. And you can take the middles out and, you know, add your own bits and pieces to them, like bling and whatever. So I'm just going to pop one here as well. Like that. And then I've got some of the smaller ones. They, you know, you've got like three different sizes on the whole thing. And I'm just going to pop that in there. And again... I'm going to put another one here, I think, like that. Um, and I've got this stem, but I don't need all of it. I'm just going to snip it because I just want these little bits here. And if you just bend them, let me get that glue off my thumb. If you just bend them like a loopy bit and just put the double glue on the loop, it will support it and help. So I'm just going to pop that in there like that. That one, I'm afraid, doesn't have a long enough piece, but I can just put some glue on that and pop that in there. They're just gorgeous and they really set a picture off. So I've got another one here that I'm going to cut. Um, and then I'm just going to take that one out, I think. Just pop that on there. I want to be able to see the leaves. I'm going to move that around there. And just glue it on with the um, leaf itself. And then add another piece. we we'll just twist that round. And we'll lift that up and just pop that in there. Don't they look pretty? Really, really pretty. Um, now, I've got a couple of big buttons, which I'm going to use just underneath there for that. I love the pearl look. And um, these really do give a good pearl look like a button see how that's really pretty i was going to put that one in but i'm not going to i don't think i've got another one of these we're going to start and do that side so you don't need to put any more lace on it or anything like that got a few more of these i just i need to go and get some more because i absolutely love anything like this And I love the way she's got a nice hat full of flowers. Oops, just get another glue stick. Just going to pop another one here. And then we'll make sure we can see that. Lift that up. What I might do is just a little dab of glue just there to hold that in place. Um, can I find another one of those? Yep, yeah, got some smaller ones here. They've got like a hint, a very subtle hint of pink in them. Uh, and it really does make them look gorgeous.
and you can see every layer every single layer which is brilliant because that's what you need so I'm just gonna touch that there now I've got these uh, edges here uh, oh and I've got this crown to put in as well I'm not sure oh, do you know what I can put that there yes that'll look fantastic just there just above oops Oopsie daisy. Now, I've just lost the lead to my glue gun. There we are, we're back on. So, let me just have a look at this. Yeah, I can see every single layer. You can't tell that the picture's concaved a little bit, uh, which doesn't matter even if it is. And do you know what? I've got some of these. You know, they do like the pink. So what I'm going to do is just to pop in, to cover the edge, some of these little pink flowers. And we do have these in the store. And it doesn't it really brings it out, doesn't it? So we just need to pop them in there. And it doesn't hurt to have a, a different flower. Too much, not the right pink anyway. Oh, do you know what I've got? A butterfly. I just, oh, that one, that's smaller. Just a tiny butterfly. And we're just going to pop it right there. And I think one more flower just here. which covers oh that's gorgeous <laughs> well I think it is that's my choice I don't think we need any more than that fee but what I'm going to do is I do have some of these smaller they're like little tassels and I think I'm going to add one just here and it's just a little tassel That will just dangle there. And there you go. It's, um, I think, I, I might just put another one of these little leaves. Yeah, I'm going to lift that. Just going to lift that. And put another leaf underneath that there. Um, and I do have another button, so there's lots and lots of pearl on this. We're going to pop that there, mixed in with that and the leaves, and the petals and the flowers. Gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's just, again, a few flowers, a picture. Um, some trimmings that you've got left from your doilies, the leaves from doilies, a couple of rolled flowers, some little trimmings here, and um, hey ho, look what you can produce. A nice shabby picture. Bit of tassel. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll speak to you all soon, and this will be on the website for sale. Thank Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.